SpaceX has once again captured global attention, but this time it is not for launching rockets or sending electric vehicles into space. The spotlight is now on its satellite internet service, Starlink. Starlink has grown rapidly, providing internet to remote areas around the world. Recently, the service surpassed 6 million users globally. However, something unusual has occurred. In just six months, nearly 500 of its satellites were deliberately taken out of orbit. This unexpected move has raised questions. Starlink's growth in 2024 was very fast. At the beginning of the year, Starlink had about 2.3 million users worldwide. By the end of the year, that number had doubled to more than 4.6 million. In the first half of 2025, it grew even more, reaching over 6 million users. In the United States alone, Starlink now has over 2 million subscribers. This makes it one of the most widely used satellite internet services in the world. Compared to its competitors, it is far ahead. Amazon's satellite project, called Project Kuiper, is still under development and has no users yet. Another competitor, OneWeb, focuses only on selling internet access to businesses and not directly to consumers. But growth does not come without problems. On July 24, 2025, Starlink had a major service outage. For about two and a half hours, around 60,000 users lost internet access. The problem was caused by a failure in the software that runs Starlink's main network systems. Musk addressed the issue quickly and said that service would be restored soon. A few hours later, the vice president of engineering at Starlink, Michael Nichols, confirmed that most of the service was working again. This outage was one of the most serious and longest ones in Starlink's history. Normally, Starlink has a very high reliability rate, close to 99.95% uptime. Outages in previous years were shorter and less widespread, often lasting less than one hour. But the bigger concern is not just one outage. Between December 2024 and May 2025, SpaceX removed about 472 Starlink satellites from orbit. This is a much higher number compared to earlier periods. In the six months before that, only 73 satellites were taken down. That means SpaceX is now removing satellites at a rate of around 2.6 per day. Since Starlink has about 7,900 satellites in orbit, removing 472 of them means nearly 6% of the total satellite network was taken out of service in just half a year. Why is this happening? Each Starlink satellite is designed to last about five years. The first group of satellites went up in 2019, so it is expected that some are reaching the end of their life. However, most of the satellites that were removed had not reached five years yet. In fact, some were even from the newer second generation. This means something went wrong. SpaceX found that many of the first-generation satellites had similar problems. Instead of leaving them in space where they could become useless objects, SpaceX decided to bring them down safely before they could cause problems. There is also another reason for removing older satellites. SpaceX is now launching improved satellites at a faster rate. Since early 2025, about 1,665 new Starlink satellites have been launched. These new versions offer better internet speed, more features, and improved environmental safety. So, replacing the older ones makes sense. Many experts see this as a smart move. However, the large number of satellite removals has raised concerns, especially about the environment. When Starlink satellites re-enter Earth's atmosphere, they burn up completely. This is to make sure no large pieces fall to the ground. But the process of burning up releases small particles into the atmosphere. These include metal oxide and very small aluminum particles. Scientists are worried that these particles might damage the atmosphere, especially the ozone layer. One study by NASA showed that when a satellite weighing around 550 pounds re-enters, it releases about 66 pounds of aluminum oxide. The newer Starlink satellites weigh about 1,760 pounds, which means they release even more. From 2016 to 2022, the number of aluminum oxide particles in the upper atmosphere increased eight times. 
another government agency, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, found strange metals in 10% of the air samples collected from the upper atmosphere. They believe that if the current pace of satellite launches continues, that number could increase to 50%. A well-known space scientist, Jonathan McDowell, said that we are doing something that nature has never done before. In his words, it is like performing a big experiment in the sky. SpaceX already has permission to launch up to 12,000 satellites and has plans to increase that number to 42,000. This large scale has made many scientists very worried. In 2024, some of them even wrote a public letter to the United States Federal Communications Commission, asking them to stop new satellite launches until the environmental risks are better understood. There is also the issue of space debris. While most satellites burn up completely, not every part does. In the summer of 2024, a part of a Starlink satellite, weighing about 5.5 pounds, landed on a farm in Saskatchewan, Canada. Luckily, no one was hurt. SpaceX says that the chance of someone getting hurt from falling satellite pieces is less than 1 in 100 million. They also say that the newer satellites meet and go beyond safety standards and that they try to guide re-entries over empty areas like oceans. To address growing concerns, SpaceX has made a clear plan to reduce the risks related to the Starlink program. First, they have a system for removing satellites safely. When a satellite gets old or shows signs of failure, they bring it down on purpose instead of leaving it in orbit. All Starlink satellites fly below 600 kilometers. So, even if one fails and cannot be controlled, natural air resistance will pull it down and burn it up within five years. Second, the satellites are designed to avoid collisions. Each one has an artificial intelligence system that helps it move away if there is a chance it might crash into another object. SpaceX also shares the position of its satellites with space agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency. This helps all groups plan and avoid accidents. Third, SpaceX is trying to reduce how much its satellites reflect light. Astronomers complained that Starlink satellites were making it hard to observe the night sky. In response, SpaceX introduced less reflective designs called DarkSat and VisorSat. These changes make the satellites harder to see with telescopes. SpaceX continues to work with astronomers and attends workshops to find better ways to reduce light pollution. Fourth, SpaceX is being more open with the public. They regularly publish information about their satellites, how many will be taken out of service, and how those retirements will be done. They also stay in contact with regulators and other space organizations to help set better rules for managing space activity. Fifth, SpaceX is following all environmental and launch-related rules. This includes rules from the Federal Aviation Administration to protect animals and to inform communities near launch sites. Their goal is to reduce the environmental impact both in space and on Earth. Finally, SpaceX says its long-term goal is balance. They want to give Internet access to people in far-off places while also protecting the space around Earth. They regularly replace older satellites with better ones and continue to improve their technology. They aim to keep their growing satellite network safe and clean as it expands to over 10,000 satellites. In short, SpaceX is using many strategies to keep Starlink safe and sustainable. These include controlled satellite re-entry, systems to avoid crashes, less light pollution, open data, following environmental laws, and working with other space agencies. The goal is to avoid turning Earth's orbit into a junkyard and make sure Starlink remains useful and safe for years to come. Starlink began in 2019 with regular launches of about 60 satellites at a time. The main goal is to give Internet access across the world, even in places where traditional Internet is not available. But Starlink is also part of a much larger plan. Elon Musk wants to use the money from Starlink to help build a city on Mars. Starlink could earn around 30 billion United States dollars every year. That is about 10 times more than SpaceX makes from sending cargo to the International Space Station. In conclusion, while Starlink is growing fast and providing important services, it also brings new challenges. 
SpaceX is trying to manage these issues responsibly, but as the number of satellites increases, everyone will be watching closely to see how the company continues to handle its responsibilities in both space and on Earth. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.